Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are your person's feelings for you ever since they ghosted you? What are your person's feelings for you ever since they ghosted you? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, Virgo, so in this reading, I'm going to take a look at um, what were your person's feelings for you at the moment or at the time that they ghosted you, okay? We're going to look back in the past and see how were they feeling for you then. And after that, I'm going to take a look at how were they feeling for you now, okay? Now that, you know, time has passed, what are their current feelings for you right now? All right, let's get started. Spirit angels and guides, please show me how was this person feeling about Virgo at the moment or at the time that they ghosted Virgo? All right, Virgo, first card we have here is the Four of Wands, the Emperor in Reverse, the Hermit card, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles in Reverse, the Ace of Swords in Reverse, the Two of Wands in Reverse. Okay, let me just take a look here. They felt like they needed a break with the Hermit card. They needed some time alone. They needed to figure out their thoughts and their feelings. They needed to figure out their priorities also, I'm getting. Mm. Ooh, the devil card is here. I feel like this person was trying to hide something here from you. And it was, you know, it was, it was taking a toll on this person's emotions. The moon in reverse and the star in reverse. Four of Pentacles. Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person wasn't being honest with you about something. And, you know, it was, it was upsetting them. It was starting, it's, it started to kind of um, bother them subconsciously or consciously. Almost like they had a dirty conscience. A dirty conscience, all right? Hmm. Let's go ahead and clarify and see what that's about. Spirit, tell me about this Hermit card, please. The Hermit card could be you also. That's a card of Virgo, but let's see. Tell me about the Hermit Spirit, Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. They might have also felt like you were closed off to them, or like you were being closed off. Yeah. Tell me about the Ace of Swords in reverse, Six of Swords, and the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, well, I'm starting to get a third-party energy now. Somebody having unfinished business with 
something from their past. Someone from their past or a third party situation. Yeah, what's the 401 spirit? Yeah, Seven of Swords and the Strength card. Right, this might be a case of, you know, um, somebody being in a second option. Tell me about the Emperor in Reverse. We have, yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the Fool. Someone living in two worlds. I feel like someone was living in two worlds. I'm saying someone because I feel like your energies are mixed together here. And I'm, I'm having a, tar a hard time figuring out, who, figuring out who is who. Yeah. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles spirit. Ten of Wands. And the Seven of Cups. You see Seven of Cups. Someone had more than one option here. Yeah, someone wasn't being 100% in the relationship. It, was, it wasn't an equal 50-50 relationship because there was somebody else in the picture. Something else in the picture. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. The Sun in reverse and the Star in reverse. There was a lack of commitment here. Um, Okay, so this person might have felt like um, you were the one that was juggling between them and somebody else. Um, they might have felt like you weren't really give, giving them any clear idea of where you two stood with each other. Or way th where they stood with you. They might have felt like you were treating them as a second option. They also might have felt like you were kind of lying to them or um, you weren't telling them the truth about a, a third party. So this person basically left or ghosted you because they felt like you weren't 100% invested in them. Okay, yeah. Keep in mind, this is what they said, what they thought. Okay, I'm not saying that this is true. This is their perception of things. They might have felt like your loyalty was not with them. All right, Virgo. I'm going to take a look at um. How is this person seeing you? Okay, let me take a look at that, see if I can decipher this message a little bit more because this is definitely more of a complicated message here. Spirit, how is this person seeing Virgo at the moment that they go ghosted Virgo? Show me their vision of Virgo. How are they viewing Virgo? First card we have is the death card. They thought things were over between you two. Or they thought that you were over them. What else? How were they seeing Virgo? We have the fool. Yeah, they thought that you were over them and that you were, you know, starting a new life elsewhere, having a new beginning elsewhere. And that you didn't care about them anymore. Queen of Wands. How else were they seeing Virgo? Three of Wands in reverse, like you weren't waiting for them. Seven of Pentacles. And the Moon in reverse. They felt like you were investing your energies somewhere else. What's the Seven of Pentacles about? This is the second time that it comes out in your energy. Tell me 
more about the Seven of Pentacles. Specify the Seven of Pentacles, please. The Chariot and the Lovers in Reverse. Yeah, they felt like you didn't um you didn't have high hopes for for the relationship for this relationship. You didn't feel like it could be successful. They felt like you were giving up on them and like you didn't really care about the connection anymore and they felt like you were moving on with your life. All right, that's what I got Virgo, so um keep in mind like I said this is this is their opinion, okay? All right, I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to move on now to um, how does this person currently feel about you? OK, how have how have their feelings changed about you? Sorry, I need to change the deck. Alright, Spirit, show me how does this person currently feel about Virgo now, ever since they ghosted Virgo? What are their feelings for Virgo now? First card we have is the Five of Swords. You see, they're holding a grudge. Five of Swords. This is what I was talking about here. I feel like this person is putting the blame on you or accusing you or making it seem like, you know, like you pushed them away. Which, I don't know, might that might or might not be true. I'm not sure. I said this is just their perception their vision but yeah the five of swords that show that they're they're harboring some sort of resentment what else spirit what are their current feelings for virgo now eight of pentacles knight of cups in reverse queen of swords in reverse ten of swords three of cups in reverse Knight of Wands in reverse. All right. Yeah. Again, I feel like they're they're making they're they're making it seem like it was it was you all along who who ghosted them. You know. Like, they're making it seem like, in reality, you were the one who ghosted them, or you were the one who rejected them, or pushed them away. Um, they feel like things ended because of you, and because of a third party, Three of Cups, in reverse. Tell me more, Spirit, about the Five of Swords. Okay, clarifying the Five of Swords, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Devil in reverse. Yeah, they're upset with you. Uh, they're upset you. They're upset with you because of something you did, or or of or because of something you didn't do. Okay. I'm not sure which one it is. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. Queen of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Swords in reverse. They feel like you left, you left, um, you left things open-ended. They feel like you left things open-ended between them. Okay. 
All right, let's move on to, let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles. What is the Eight of Pentacles about here, Spirit? Four of Swords. So this person's not, not really thinking about you or they're putting their energy towards not thinking about you and towards focusing more on their work, distracting themselves with their work, keeping themselves busy with with whatever it is that they're doing. It could be their work or their projects, personal projects, goals, career, money, work, whatever. Yeah, they're not... They're making it like... And, and their intention to not focus on you or not thinking about or not think about you tell me about the knight of cups in reverse nine of pentacles they're being single and the ace of cups this person feels like they're giving you a taste of their own, of your own medicine god for a go jesus this person is really negative. They, their energy is very negative towards you, Virgo. I don't know why, but sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm delivering a, a negative message here. But I mean, that's what it says. <laughs> this person has a chip on their shoulder for sure. So yeah, they're, they're keeping themselves single here with the Nine of Pentacles. They're staying away from love. Okay. Tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they don't want... They're not interested in moving things forward here. Anything else, Spirit? Three of Cups, Eight of Wands. They might also be dating new people, I feel. With the Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups, this person might be um, going out with other people or um, having casual relationships with other people because I do feel like they're, they're not interested in commitment or they're trying to keep themselves single, but they're also kind of enjoying other, other options at the same time. No. I don't see that they're taking those other options seriously, though. I feel like they're just trying to put on a show, you know? Yeah, it feels like they're putting on a show. Yeah, all right, Virgo, so I'm going to end the reading here. I hope this was um, helpful. I hope it gave you clarity. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.